So. Praises, honor, and glory to, to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. Salutations to the elect throughout the four corners. Want to uh, get into our culture, you know, like learning about, you know, uh, herbs. That's part of our culture. Learning the Hebrew. That's part of our culture. Learning about how to fight martial arts. That's part, part of, of our, our culture. culture. And also one thing in part of our culture is the ram's horn. You know, learning to blow the ram's horn and dealing with the uh, the ram's horn. You know, that's part of Israelite culture. You know, so in your spare time, you know, we do our worldly things like go to the movies or chill out with Eve and so and such. But if you don't know what to do in your spare time, you could take up uh, a fighting class. You know what I'm saying? You could take up, you could use time to practice on how to blow what the ram's horn, you know. You could use your time on learning how to fight, you know, or learning how to cook, you know what I'm saying, or learning how, learning about the herbs, you know, them, them all things that's part of what our culture as Israel, you know, so the brother gonna get a couple of scriptures on the ram's horn. Uh, and I will start. So when a brother get the scripture, you know, um, you want to be um, mindful of the right ram's horn to get, you want to get an actual ram's horn, because they got certain um, horns that's not made from the ram, which was a mistake. My Eve, she bought me one like this size, but it wasn't actually a ram's horn. You know, I borrowed this from the brother, but um, you want to get an actual ram's horn because it give a certain cry. And we all crying out through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So when you blow this through the spirit, your cries is being cried through this horn. God. You know, and a lot of people don't like what the sound of this horn. You know what I mean? That's not in the spirit. You know, because them cries being heard. So go ahead, brother. Psalms 81 and 3. Blow of the trumpet in the new moon. Right. In the time of pointing on our solemn feast day. Is that right there? Brother? Right. And so... You use these for the trumpets, the holy days. You know, part of our culture is what keeping the holy days. You got the what uh, dedication coming up, Hanukkah, and you also got what the Purim coming up. You know, the next couple of holy days, and you got new moons in between. So, and during the Passover, you know, each brother, every brother should learn how to sound a ram's horn. You know, instead of always buying, you know, two hundred, three hundred dollars Michael Jordan. You can mm -hmm. spend $100 on a ram's horn, mm -hmm. you know, and get a nice, decent ram's horn and blow it, you know. Um, get the next preset, brother. Mm -hmm. This is still in the book of Psalms. Okay. Chapter 98. Verse 6. With the trumpets and the sound of cornets, make a joyful noise before the Lord, right, thy cornet, king. Which is a trumpet, which is a joyful noise. Because the Lord loved to hear prophecy. He, remember, Yahweh Shai is waiting for the day he returned, man. So the trumpet is also represents prophecy. That's a joyful noise before the Lord. You know, but people that's not right and people that's wicked, you know what I'm saying? They don't like the sound of this trumpet. They hate the smell of frankincense and myrrh. Try it out. Burn mm -hmm. some frankincense and myrrh around a wicked motherfucker, man. He's going to act up. The Blow this trumpet around wicked people, man. They're going to act up, man. You know? That's right, What the bro. fuck is that smell? What the fuck is that noise? Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of. Uh, 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 <coughs> on, on a personal testimony, uh, I went to work. I used to always practice with the trumpet. So I was sounded before I go to work on my old plantation. And I had a smaller one. And I blow it just to pro I had a good blow on one. And I blew, blew the ram's horn. My supervisor came out like, yo, you heard that? I put it up by the time he came out. And I was walking in the gate. He was like, I was like, heard what? I just played dumb. He was like, yo, it sounded like somebody crying for help. 
he was like, it sounded like somebody saying, help, help, <laughs> help. And I laughed. And nigga smoked weed, he was high, but I laughed, though. Because that was what? Through the spirit, man. That was through the spirit. This is the book, uh, Dr. Joshua. Now drop that. Just give me eight minutes, three and six. Come on, you got it, brother. Because I don't want to make this too long. So this part of our culture, man, you want to get into your culture as Israel, man. So if you don't know what to do with your spare time, start tapping into your culture, learning the Hebrew. You can learn how to fight. You know what I'm saying? You can learn how to cook. You can learn about the herbs. You know what I'm saying? So... Uh, we all do our worldly things, but we shouldn't be indulging in the world on that level because we got our culture to learn about as Israelite men. We don't. This is Amos chapter 3, verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord have not done it? Right, so the, so the trumpet is being blown. That's why what? People be afraid. People be scared. People be shook when they hear this sound. Because deep in their spirit, Israel, I mean, they still Israel. They know what judgment is coming. So as far as blowing the trumpet, a little guidance, you can't just blow straight into it. It's not going to sound. You know what I'm saying? One thing, the trumpet travels off of vibrations. You know what I'm saying? So I uh, put a hole on the corner of my mouth. I close my mouth and mm -hmm. go like this. And I'll vibrate my lips like because mm, everything in the spirit moves off of vibrations. You got negative vibrations, you got positive vibrations. So as I vibrate my lips through the corner of my lip, it, it starts to sound. So we give it a try. Right, from a vibration. Mm -hmm. So when you blowing it, you don't want to just force air straight through it. You want to blow it wanna slightly, flow. right? And as flow. it picks up, you push it through. So I'm going to give it a good try and through the spirit be a good one. Like I said, sometimes you don't get good blows. It mm -hmm. also deals with the positioning of your body and how you hold it in the air and also a good breath that you take, you know? So... I'm going to uh, try to get a good blow and hope this be edifying for brothers. So you want to take a good breath because you want to push it through. And also as it's sounding off, you want to think about martial law. You want to think about because your spirit going to cry through this horn. Huh. As you sound it off, you want to think about race wars. You want to think about the chip. You want to think about these crackers dying off. That's what you want to think about. So as you do it, you take a deep breath and you let that breath out easily. And once you get a good sound, you just push through. <laughs> With that, hope that was edifying. In the name of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. To the brothers out there pushing the word in the truth, Shalom. 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 Shalom.